You were going to go to the military, and then you yeah. decided against it. Yeah, so my dad said, oh, hold up, you know, <laughs> more or less, like, don't go get yourself blown up. Uh, <laughs> you tell the so, truth. Yeah, that's yeah. great. Um, you've done well in school, you know, why not go, like, sure, you can do military, why not go to, like, one of the service academies, or, you know, go the officer route, where you have, you take your education and your smarts, you yeah, and put it to, to good use, so uh, that was a pursuit for a while, didn't work out for me, and so I just said, next best thing, um, I'll, I'll study aerospace engineering and go to Penn State, wow. so, um, and that's where I landed. How much work is involved in getting a degree like that and then do you believe that has helped your work ethic for real estate because 92 percent of people don't even make it within the first year and a half due to what most in the coaching industry would say not keeping a schedule not getting things done they have to get done so yeah, yeah. did that was it did a lot of workload did it keep you grounded and did it help with this this real estate career? i've never considered it but i think absolutely i mean working a a full day corporate mm-hmm. and then uh you got stuff to do. You got clients to help, paperwork to to send or receive. Uh, same thing at school. I'd be in the computer lab until 10, 11 at night doing homework, doing assignments, prepping for exams. So um, I'm doing the same thing. Wow. But also <laughs> I'm not doing aerodynamic stuff now. I'm doing client. I'm helping clients. I'm doing paperwork. I'm, you know, researching properties and, you know, prepping, you know, mail and all that stuff. So it's, uh, it. It correlates for sure. Just wow. a totally different field, I guess. So. Do you? Yeah. I would go the other route. Oh, I mean, yeah. yes, it's still good. So I had that in me, work ethic, all the way up. I mean, not a big school, but I was valedictorian in high school. Wow. Okay. So a lot of that mentality carried through, and I thought, I have to do good in college just to do good in college. Wrong mindset. I mean, I killed myself. A lot of work. I was playing baseball when I first got up there, stopped playing baseball, and really focused on my classes. Okay. Did some other fun things too, of course, but it wasn't worth it. I was motivated, you know, middle class, I'll say, blue collar workers. Okay, they told us coming in the door, you know, whoever's the top student in this program for here, forget what it was, gets like 800 bucks or something. I was like, that's awesome. So I got four on my first time up there. Wow. And I really did work a lot though. And looking at it, it was all just motivated to get good grades, to follow the, the pattern of then you have a high GPA and, you know, some other things too. I did a co-op up there. I worked for Crayola. And, you know, you have a nice background, then you get a good job, and then you're set. So that was my mindset. Completely wrong. I'm teaching my kids differently. Even now, I mean, life is simple, a lot of parts of it. But it's about problems and solutions. When he cries or says something, because I'm only doing it with Antonio now, my older, oldest one, I'm like, well, what's the solution? And I do say that enough where it almost bothers me. Mm. But I think I'm drilling it in his head. You know, there's not always just one way to go about it. 